Hi, my name is Alana Bearfield, and we're here at the Cinematic Sanctuary panel for the New Orleans Film Festival. Filmmakers like Chloe Walters and PJ Raval are changing the game. We're so excited about your new movie, Call Her to Ganda. Please tell me why it was so special for making this movie, especially for the LGBT community. Sure, so my film is about a trans woman in the Philippines that was murdered by a U.S. Marine. And uh, part of what the film looks like, uh, or what the film looks at, is this idea of Jennifer's experience, who is the trans woman, uh, being part of a larger kind of colonial legacy in, in the Philippines of U.S. imperialism. And so I think from an LGBT perspective, we tend to always think about LGBT rights being an isolated event, and I think this is something where we are thinking about LGBT rights as being part of just basic human rights. Um, and clearly a crime like this is committed because partially that Jennifer is a trans woman. Did you receive any media criticism when you were making this movie from the public, from the media? Uh, you know, I was in the process of making this film, I've been very quiet about it, uh, so I haven't really said too much about it until it got released. And now that it has been released, as you as you can imagine, you know, on social media there is a little bit of some negative pushback um, from people who are definitely transphobic or people, um, you know, who are just generally hateful <laughs> in general. So there is a little bit of that. But in but I would say overall, though, the response has been really good. When people watch your movies, what do you want them to take away from it? I think I want people to realize that at the end of the day, uh, Jennifer was also someone's daughter and someone's sister. And, you know, she was loved and she had dreams just like anyone else. And that is something that I think even if you're not trans, even if you're not Filipino, you should be able to assign yourself to that um, and relate to it. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, um, it's also about a mother who lost her child. And I think everyone can kind of relate to that experience. So what's next? Well, I am screening the film still at uh, festivals. We're in select theaters right now. We're doing a lot of community screenings. We just screened the film at the State Department. That was really exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing a lot of impact work and hopefully there'll be various ways for people to see this film um, in addition to in theaters and um, you know eventually online things like that and and yes I do have some other projects not talking about them yet um, so no inside scoop no inside scoop yet but I will say it probably will deal with more LGBTQ plus um, communities maybe some more um, Filipino Filipino American uh, storylines